there. So uh, that's an opportunity as well. He shares that with Paul uh, Holton, of course, one of the Compass 360 machines. Up into that second row position, Matt Keegan behind the wheel. What a performance oh, yeah. he put in qualifying. And they are green. And immediately Maxwell from the outside of the front row makes the move. Well, that outside line often uh, opens it up just a little bit. And I think Dean Martin may be just a little bit tenuous here. He's got a great opportunity to showcase. And obviously it was the 76 that had that problem at the start uh, and had to go to the back of the field after they fortunately got it restarted. So, yeah, absolutely right with Keegan moving up. But look at that side by side out of that tricky couple of uh, turns, two and or one and two complex. That's one of the Aston Martins able to hang on to it. But, uh, boy, I'll tell you, as always in this series, very close concert racing. Guys. It really was in the middle of the pack there. We had James Sofronis in the number 11, came in there really trying to make some moves. Great to see him in action this year. But just uh, as Justin said, these GT4 cars are simply sensational in terms of their look. And then we see the ST cars. There's going to be a battle up front there today. So Scotty Maxwell from the outside of the front row steams to the front. And I think what Dean Martin may be wanting to do is he knows that Multimatic and Scott Maxwell have a lot of miles on these cars. They really don't have a good green flag run on the pole sitting car. Maybe pace themselves off of him today. And you talked about Sopronis and Global Motorsports Group bringing two cars to this opening round of the championship. And it's the new Porsche, uh, they call it the Cayman Club Sport GT4 MR, which means it's a true GT4 spec machine. And uh, bringing a couple of cars here. Had a problematic test at the Roar. Both cars getting hurt. Problems again for that number 76 Alpha Clone Aero C360R car plum. Yeah, this is a disappointment because uh, Matt is our 2013 champion, has run for many years with the Rumbum organization, got a great ride here this year, but early drama for that car. And you'd expect that. I mean, this is a brand new program with these GT4 uh, machines. Beautiful McLaren GT4 is based off of the uh, 570S platform, uh, but uh, you know, relatively new in existence here. And there you go, back to the battle in ST. And boy, I'll tell you what, a great start for Compass 360 or C360R, I should say, in the out. Yeah, and you'd expect this Pierre <laughs> Klein Irving, who uh, ran in GS last year with that team. Now back in ST, he's got so many driver titles behind his name. But look at that 18 machine, Connor Bloom from the pole. He looks like he's got some speed in that Cayman. They will swept one through five here last year in the ST class at Daytona. And he looks like he's got Ooh. a little bit more straightaway speed. He's in there really deep, though. Just trying to struggle for grip there in turn one and just hang on if he can. Klein Irving alongside. And Mosing trying to join it, of course. They won this race last year, that third place car in ST right now, the 56 Marillo Racing Mosing Motor Cars. That train, a big move there. Connor Bloom underneath the Compass 360R Racing Audi into the lead, Cal. 